Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 63. Today we're going to be having a 3D cube and we're going to be trying to rotate it with the mouse and see that it's actually pretty easy to do. So we've added an angle for X and Y as well as a mouse last position for X and Y uh, to our state. And as we scroll down here, we've added a few callbacks to the canvas object. We've added mouse down, up, and move. And when we get to drawing here, we're going to take the uh, MVP matrix and rotate it um, on the x-axis by the angle of x within the global state, and then rotate it in y within the angle y within the global state. So we'll continue to do to use that. Everything else is the same there. And then everything else is down in our mouse down, up, and move calculations. First thing we want to do is determine um, whether or not we're within the canvas object. So event target is going to be the canvas object, object, and we can determine its bounding client rectangle, as well as the mouse positions x and y. If the left is greater than and the uh, right is less than, we know that we're within the uh, left to right side of the canvas object, and same with the top and bottom. And if that's the case, we're going to set the last, last value uh, of the mouse down, and we're going to set the fact that we're dragging to true. If we let up, we're going to set the dragging to false. And then finally on the movement is where we're going to end up doing most of the logic. So you could see that we're going to grab the x and the y. At the end of here, we're going to reset those positions. And we're going to also say, if we're dragging, let's figure out what we want to do. So here we have a rotation factor. This can be any arbitrary number, but basically how, how fast do you want to rotate? The bigger the number, the faster the rotation. Uh, we're going to have the change in x and the change in y, as uh, stated by dx and dy, as you normally see, a change in d. And we're going to multiply the factor for these to be the current x's value from the mouse movement to the last position. So this is the distance from the current position to the last position. And we're going to go ahead and have a multiplication factor to see what that's by. Finally, we're going to be updating the angle uh, of x by the x plus the uh, derivative of y, and then vice versa for the derivative of x. And um, the reason for that, if you think about it, is because of uh, the angles that we're going to be looking at. So let's go ahead and just take a peek. So we have the triangle here, or excuse me, the cube. And if we go ahead and click here and we drag, we're going to be going to the right. And we could drag to the left. Same with down and up. So uh, we have this very simple rotation and it's kind of nice. So uh, it's a good speed. We could speed it down if we wanted to. Uh, we could speed it up if we wanted to. Um, simply by changing this uh, factor here. And then um, really that's it to uh, That's all that's going on with this uh, uh, rotation. So uh, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like this video, it'll help me out a lot. Share it on social media, programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. You can follow me on Twitter as well. Have a great one.